Welcome to Shorty Supercoach and welcome to another player profile. Although this one is less of a profile and more of a voicing of concern. While I do sit here at the Angle C Lookout, I've got my chocolate oak, I've got my vanilla slice. All may seem perfect, but it's not quite. Nick Natanui, what is going on there? What is happening with that knee? One of the men that was going to make up our set and forget ruck situation, Max Gorn, Nick Nat, for many months seemed like the combination we would go with, but all of a sudden it doesn't seem quite so simple. A few articles the other week describing that Nick Nat is not quite right, he's not quite getting over that knee injury as hoped, a bit of a question mark over even round one. They still got him on somewhat light duties, he's participating in some match simulation but he isn't certainly slugging it out like maybe we had hoped. And look, it, it's got to raise some concerns because I think at his price, you know, it's a very good price for him, but it's, it's not an absolute bargain. And all of a sudden, you know, the hope still is that he'll play JLT. I think JLT2 is currently the goal. And if he were to play that, then I think that concern would go away. I think if he would play a pre-season game, get through that okay and be named for round one, then that's fair enough. That should be all well and good. But it's a couple of other things we should consider, and I mean, I've been thinking it, so I'm sure you guys have been thinking, well, what if he doesn't get up? And, and even if he does, if he's struggling this much, is 465k too much to pay for a guy who hasn't had the greatest pre-season? And if this man was in any other position, same price, same pre-season, I'd be telling you no. So why is the ruck different? I guess the ruck um, division is a bit different because... We have less options. We seem to be able to throw the mid-price range out the door a little bit because there aren't as many great options. And I think Nick Nat is different. He's not your classic mid-pricer. Yeah, he's 465. You know, compare that to say Cornelio, similar price. I said straight up, no. There's far better options. A bit of a waste in the midfield. Where Nick Nat, of course, his selection and the hope is that he can be a keeper. Quite simply, you know, Goldstein isn't the man he once was, and there's a few other concerns about other players. You know, maybe the ruck line isn't as predictable as it once was. You know, there's no Dean Cox floating around these days. I mean, Cruiser was the main man last season. Paddy Ryder, fair bit of talk about Sam Jacobs. You know, there are a few other guys, but for the most part, and most rucks have been Max Gorn and Nick Nat. So, where am I at with it all? I mean, to be fair, I have cast an eye towards trading Nick Nat out because I am concerned. I think when we look at his season averages, they're really good, but he's not an absolute superstar scoring-wise. Such impact, but we know he does struggle to win uncontested ball. He's great in the contest, but just a few averages, 57.4 and 09, then 71.2, 93.8. 2012 was a big one, 114.2, 96.2 from 11 games the following year, then 20 games in the next couple for averages of 90.8 and 103.9, 2016, 105.9, and of course missed last season with that knee injury. So they aren't unbelievable scores. They're very, very solid and, and will take it for sure, particularly that 105.9 you'd absolutely take, um, particularly at that price. But I am getting a little worried. You know, he's not flying through the preseason. 465k. He's a bargain for what a fully fit Nick Nat's going to produce, but are we going to get that? I mean, we would really like to see him hit the ground running using that brilliant leap, hit outs to advantage, following up his own work. It's what he does so well, but on one hand, I'm just wondering are we going to see that? Is he going to ease his way? into the season of course a few of these answers are going to come when we do and if we do see him in the jlt but i feel it was worth taking a bit of a look at because a player profile of nick nat's quite simple if he's fit we pick him at that price pretty simple but there's a lot lot else to concern uh to think about i should say because as i said he's he's not bargain price he's a good price for nick nat but I just keep thinking the nightmare in my head is we pick him, we just sort of turn a blind eye towards the body and he's not flying, but, you know, he's, he's fine, wins contested ball, you know, he doesn't have to be at his athletic best, you know, he, he should be okay, but 
season starts. He's he's not looking quite what we thought. He's a yard of pace gone, and that jump isn't quite where we wanted it to be. And he's just not the same Nick Nat for the first month or so. And then all of a sudden, we're really struggling. He hasn't made much coin. Hasn't started like a house on fire at all. So I'm starting to wonder, do we just go with someone else? And then who else? Who else would that be? And I'll talk about that tomorrow because I do have a man in mind that I will take a look at tomorrow night or going to plan. But I just wanted to, yeah, see where everyone's at with Nick Nat. Are we pulling the trigger and getting rid of him? Or are we keeping faith? I mean, where am I at and my advice? I think let's not go crazy too much. We haven't seen a game of football yet. And I think sometimes it's so easy to tweak and tinker and you know, I do it as well. You know, I'm looking at maybe getting Pierce Hanley in for Brayshaw. And then I've got to back up and go, well, Brayshaw's done nothing wrong. Hanley's done nothing right yet. Let's just back the truck up. I, I think it's good to have options. It's maybe good to have a plan A, plan B, plan C, even if it's just in your head. It doesn't have to be on the screen, but just know that, okay, if Brayshaw doesn't set the world on fire, I lose a bit of confidence, I can bring Hanley in by doing this and swapping that. And equally, if Nick Nat doesn't play or doesn't play how we might think, then all of a sudden we've got to pull the trigger and, and that should be easily done because we would have thought about it for a couple of weeks now. So I just wanted to put that on the agenda. I don't think we have to go crazy and trade him out unless you're really keen on someone else because it's a bit different. There's not a stack of rucks that we can just absolutely bank on. So... It does mean taking a slight risk on a Nick Nat could be beneficial or, or worthwhile. But I think, you know, by no means should we be trading guys out too frequently at the moment until we see some actual games and pre-season games and get a better look at it. But it is good to not just sit on your hands and not do anything. It's good to take a look at, well, if I do have to change this, then who am I going to bring in? How am I going to do that? I think I think most people do that anyway, but it is good to not absolutely concrete change teams, just have a few options here and there. If this happens, then we can do that. You don't have to have your team set in stone by any means. You know, don't write a guy off in February just because you're slightly concerned. Write him off if he plays a poor pre-season game and he needed to impress you for sure, but... I don't think we should be too trigger happy just yet, but Nick Nat is concerning me a little bit. Right now, he is still in my team, but trust me, I've been doing a fair bit of thinking about what if he doesn't quite get right, then I'm going to have to make a couple of changes across my team. So, be interesting to hear your thoughts. Let me know what your plans are with Nick Nat, whether you've pulled the trigger or not. And um, yeah, be very interested to hear. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Obviously more of a um, speculative little piece here, but I just wanted to put it on the agenda because it was on my mind. So most people would also be thinking about it as well. So yeah, definitely be interested to hear. But uh, stay tuned for some ruck talk tomorrow and plenty more player profiles. Cheers.